Well, I think it was a typical Western Michigan Akron game. Very physical. They're tough, hard nosed. We played them a lot. I mean, they're almost like playing a, an East team for us because we played them in so many MAC tournament games now. And we have a lot of respect for Coach Hawkins and their team. And uh, I feel bad because Mike Douglas is a good kid. He competed so hard that he just kind of lost it at the end. But they're kids, and we have to remember that. So I feel bad about that. I really do. I, I didn't think we'd have heavy legs, really. I, I think that's excuse mechanisms. Uh, I thought we hit one stretch in the game where we looked a little tired. But we have good depth, like I said, and we've we fouled so much that our guys are staying fresh. Like Nick only played 20 minutes last night. Zeke never plays more than 18 minutes. Right, Quincy? You know, so we're splitting time with Quincy and McClanahan. McNeese is the one you got to be careful of. Uh, Daryl Roberts is a little fragile. But Abreu, you can play. Abreu is a good player. So um, I, I think we'll be ready to play tomorrow. You know, we just got to battle. Well, you know, I thought last year that they should have won the game last year. So I just think tonight we were just better than them, you know, and uh, they battled and battled and tried to come back on us, which you have to give them a lot of credit. Um, you know, there's some tough matchups for them in some respects. You know, when we play Nicola and Brett McKnight together, then that makes Stainbrook have to – and then we tried to put Stainbrook into ball screens – because he's a good player, but you know he, he's he, he's you know he's big and strong, and is you know he's not going to win any races, right? So we tried to put him into those ball screen situations, which I think hurts him some. And uh, you know we we didn't have any answers for Ward and Flannard Woodfield, and then I thought the little guy played really good, Mike Douglas. So I just think it's just you know I just think it's sometimes it's it just is what it is. We played a little better than them tonight. I don't think it's anything more than that. You know, it's just like Ohio U, right? I, I can't say Ohio U's better than us, but they killed us twice. And it was just those two nights they were good and we were bad. And I think that's pretty much what happened tonight. Well, some people will say that's a great thing, and then others will say the damn guy never wins any of them. Like, my thing is, is most of the time the best team wins a championship game, right? That's kind of how I view it. So I thought the one time we had the best team, we didn't win the championship game, right? Like, I thought that team we had was a really, really good team. I thought it could win in the NCAA tournament. We had some deficiencies, but it was a really good team. We didn't win that one. But the other times that we lost – I think the one time Kent beat us, I think they were a little better than us that year, right? I don't know who else beat us. Kent beat us twice, I think, right? Ohio beat us. That was probably a pick 'em game last year, and it went overtime. You know, we, we played two close games with Ohio before that, and if we play tomorrow night, you know, it's going to be a pick 'em game tomorrow night. So I guess to answer your question, look, I'm proud of our resiliency. This group has made me probably prouder than any group we've ever had because – Nobody really expected us to be here, really. They thought, oh, 12 and 10, they're done. And so I, I, I just like, I like this group. And I think this group has more upside potential than probably any other group we've had because we have those young kids, Abreu, Quincy Diggs is a great example, and then Zeke Marshall that we feel like are going to get better and better and better and better and better. So I think from that perspective, this group had more upside all year long than some of our other groups that were kind of topped out in some regards. Now, one of the things that we've tried to do a little bit more uh, after we were 12 and 10 was just kind of let our guys play a little bit. And so what we did is we used clock, and then we ran what we call a double ball screen, and Steve turned it down and just drove it and kicked it, which is just playing basketball. And McClanahan's made a lot of big shots for us this year. He won the Youngstown State game. He made one at UIC. He hit the one the other night. You know, he's a pretty good player. And uh, it was just a good decision by McNeese. Coach, 
I don't think it's prosperity so much. I think if you look at our group, we're not the most athletic group in the world, right? I, I think one thing we have is high character. We understand what we have to do. But at times, I think as the game goes on, the better athletes can play through that fatigue a little bit better than the less better athletes, right? So I think that's what it comes down to in some regards. I think we have good people. I think we've we've been in a lot of ball games. Um, I think that's why they come to Akron. You know, they want to play in these games. Um, I think we've been in more MAC tournament games, so I think it definitely helps you. We're not scared. We're not scared to make bad plays or good plays, um, and they believe they can win. So I think when push comes to shove, when the game gets on the line, you better have belief structure. And so I think that's probably been the reason we've won. Thank you.